What's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. Come on in. Morning drill this morning uh, with Sergey, a private, and uh, Stevan's doing his thing. What are you doing this morning? I'm just lifting today because I got in last night. I was in Serbia, flew, flew back to Chicago, drove to Ann Arbor, trained yesterday, and then I'm just going to get a lift in this morning before practice. So I'll do my morning wrestling tomorrow um, with Ragason. So let's get it. Let's get it. So we're we're here at Bana in the morning doing some extra some extra parterre and technique work. Uh, this is something that you know once I get into to training camp, I like to, to come in and get some two a days in uh, wrestling wise. Usually just come in with like you know one partner um, one on one with Sergey. He's kind of a, a mastermind when it comes to fine tuning. Really, his technique is, is second to none in my opinion. So I like to um, I like to get these extra workouts in with him. And I think that there's something to say about the the confidence uh, that you get from from doing the extra work. So excited to 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 get some work in this morning. That's just Sergey be like, oh, I hate this. Like he always says, like he literally always say, I'll be like, oh, I hate this, I hate this. And then we go places and he like purposely puts himself in situations where like he's gonna be seen and he knows there's gonna be people being like, oh, okay, Sergey, picture, picture. And he's always like, ah, oh, no, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. It's the truest thing, man. It's, so, it's so funny. You're right. <laughs> Yes. And when they say one Coney, egg, all the Coney Islands. Are yeah. Easy. And when yeah. you say one egg, one egg, they give you two. When you say two eggs, they give you four. They, it's Greek math. They load it up. The Greek math. That's good math. At least it's not two eggs. They give you one. Yeah. At least put the yolk. We got older and like we're like you know 22, 23. I would say my favorite memory is like we like the house is so small and cozy that like right when you walk in, there's like basically the only living space is like the living room and TV, and so at any point in time. Like for the five years that we lived here, there would just be like a random wrestler that would just, just walk, walk in. in like every day and just like come hang out with us and we would just sit on the couch and just like play play a game. Smash like, Bro tournaments, FIFA tournaments, uh, those would go crazy. We always had some video game tournaments. They are the best. Yeah. It's the dog house. <laughs> some breakfast. Now we're kind of getting into our main practice. Yep, main, main clip team practice. We've got Stevan in town, obviously. It's a good freestyle it's be, working. It's good to have him back in the room. The energy's way up, so I think it should be a good practice. Have some fun. Yep, let's go. Let's get it. Thank you. 
No, he's right here. I do, I don't know about you. Yeah, I mean, obviously, when you get a guy like this in the room, you know, every day, you're gonna, you're gonna, those are the guys you're gonna see overseas at the World Championship, so it's just getting you ready for that. So when you have a guy like that in the room, I mean, there's, not, there's nothing better than that, and it gets you totally ready for, for, for what's ahead of you. Like, for the longest time, all I did was go with, like, the best guy. Like, we had Alex in here, Logan Massa, Dom Avenator, Pat Brucky, and I think, like, my, my weeks were lined up, like, where every single day, I was going with a guy where I knew like like one score might make the difference between our live go or our match. And uh, I attribute a lot of my success to that, like having guys like Alex like basically here to to push me and, and you know, I, I get like excited and anxious even for practice. I think it's like the closest thing to like a match simulation or a tournament simulation is like when you come in and you know you're gonna compete against a guy that is just as good, if not a little bit better than you, right? And so it's like constantly kind of this little like stepping stone game of like you know you got to be on your a game otherwise um you know that guy's gonna run you through a wall that day and that's a big reason why i came here you know i was in oklahoma state they didn't really have much freestyle focus and uh you know guys like him when down was here um obviously he's gone now logan was here they're, they're, they're the biggest reason why i came here obviously we put good coaches too but having guys like that you, you just can't beat it so I, i've learned to love that like you know even if i like we, we just get done wrestling alive and I'm like, how did I almost get in there? Like, what, what are we doing? Like, we're always talking about yeah. the position and it's kind of, it's got cool that it's got, or like gotten to that point. I think it takes like a level of maturity to not take it too personal and like look forward to just trying to get better. Yeah, we're the same way too. So the fact that we can, uh, after practice, sit down and talk about things. Um, at the end of the day, one day we could eventually wrestle each other at the Olympics or the team. So it's just that we're that close of friends that we, we can uh, look past that and, uh, and just continue to grow as, as wrestlers and, and people. That'd be sick. Olympic finals, can you imagine? Right, that'd be awesome. Thanks, <laughs> Second dad over here. This guy's pulled Stevan out of the ditch more times. Once. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <more> once. <laughs> Come on. One time he helped me. I but mean, it, he, he, he took like two and a half hours to do it. Kind Look, of, uh, you know that's a scary sight. You know who's in the house when you see that jacket hanging yeah, from the air dying right there. Jacob, yeah, look at that. Michael <laughs> Mee. This is like double trouble right here. I mean, this reminds me of like six or seven years of college. You know, a lot of Saturday, a lot of Saturday mornings, a lot of uh, you know just post practice. You know, we Coffee. come in here and some chicken and some kebabs and some. Uh, <laughs> The Tiger Balm. He put the Tiger Balm on. So we had a us all. Tiger Balm. We had music and we had jokes to jokes. lighten up the moment, but he also, which was critical. Critical in between big matches. You yeah. gotta, you gotta really have yeah. enough to think about. I think the secret recipe to a lot of success is to lighten the most, you know, most pivotal moments. Most important, you gotta keep it light and you gotta keep it enjoyable and. Uh, and I think uh, Steve and I did a really good job of that in college and, and now internationally. Yeah, yeah, what are you listening to? Well, if you're Sergey Belaglaza, if no. you listen to opera. What are you I listening know what to? I know Mike Means listening to. Dun, 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 Rocky? Yeah, you know, I, I'm probably. I thought he was going to listen to. Uh, I thought no. he was Sweet Child of Mine. No. Uh, Axel Rose? No. What was that one song that he's he singing? At the, he's singing. He's singing. Uh, <laughs> no, what was the song he sang at the fair? A fire of fair. What was that song? He had Elfair. a cameo as uh, oh, Axel Rose. You know, it's knock, the knock, 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 like, yeah, these guys, how long did you guys live together? The two we only got one year, but Tyler lived on our couch for like three years. 
That's moved true. Out. Hey, I used to come over though to the house. Yeah, I was the was Sylvan. I was the Super Smash Bros. champ of the house. It's probably true. Oh, Not you want to give me house. that look? Not of house. Of the Recently, house. Recently. All right, first of all, this guy moved away, and all of a sudden he became like a pro at the game. <laughs> we were even in our series. And, and when I was in college, and then I came back. He came back a new man. All of a sudden, I just couldn't compete anymore. Yeah. I started watching YouTube tutorials. Hey, I, I should fair. ask you about the uh, Team 100. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Me and Sean are yeah. about that tomorrow, actually. All right, that's good. I was just well, asking. We have an as a fan, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I eventually no, want to see it. Hey, you, you should, just get you the should keep asking. It's the 50% uh, you should, you completed should, meeting. You should keep asking me. I will that. promise you my Team 125, my that happy. documentary will be done. Merry Christmas. Like, he was like, gonna wish, he wished the mice in here was a Merry Christmas. And then he was and just like, and he was just like, <laughs> By the way, Tyler, when is that Team 100 <laughs> coming up? It was kind of a snub. <laughs> Like, I, I, I'm, I'm okay though. Tyler, I'm okay with you postponing it because I was kind of like the sad story yeah. of the whole thing. I'm like, Tyler, like I'm not bringing it up. Like, if it doesn't come out. Doesn't yeah, come yeah out. Like, that was a crappy year. Yeah. Yeah. If it doesn't come worst. out, it doesn't come out. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, that, that was the worst year of his life in wrestling. <laughs> no, for real. But to be to be fair though, right to be that, fair, that did help spur a lot of things mentally for me going forward. You know what yeah. I mean? The worst year into the best year. Yeah, that's what's up. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna go uh, get a nice little rib roast at my house. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. See you next time. See ya.